Hey guys, welcome back to another eBay Stripper. Today I found this little fan. It's a USB 2.0 tower fan, which operates at 5 volts, 500 milliamps. So the bad news is I could not find the charger for this. So let's hook it up to my bench power supply and see if it works or not. Okay, so my power supply is set to 5 volts. So according to this drawing here, as you can see, the middle pin is the plus and the outer one is the minus. So what I'm going to do is use some in insulation around that middle pin first, then get that in there and then try to touch the outer layer with the black probe. There we go, I think that's okay. Okay, it's working. Can you see that? The fan started spinning. Okay, since it's all working and I don't have the charger for this, I'm gonna do something a little creative. I got this charging port from an iPhone 6. So what I'm gonna do is take this and replace it with this one. I know it's not practical, but I'm gonna enjoy doing it. And I hope you do too. Okay, let's open it up. My screwdriver doesn't fit in there, so I'm gonna use this screwdriver I got from a iPhone screen replacement kit. Maybe that's not the way. Maybe there's screws at the bottom here. So let's remove these wires here. Okay, that's out. Okay, if you take a look at this diagram here, can you see pin 2 and 7 are positive and pin 6 and 3 are negative. So according to the diagram, this second pin and the one before the last pin are the positive and this third pin and this pin will be negative. So what I'm gonna do is connect this and this together and then connect it to the negative of the fan wire and the same with the positive with this and this I'm gonna connect together and then connect it to the fan wire I'm gonna use this enameled wire it's 0.2 millimeter enameled wire I'm gonna put new solder on it so let's flux it first Now let's thin the wire as well. Okay, that's ready to go. Okay, that looks good. That looks much better. Now let's connect up the other ends of the wire. There we go. Now the other two. I'm just gonna leave it like that. Now I'm gonna get this. Okay, now let's connect these two to these two wires. Okay, let's connect these two. Minus to the minuses and the positive to the positive ones. Those are the minuses together and the positive wires together. Now I have to figure out how to place it down here. Let's cut off this piece of plastic over here that's sticking out. Okay, what I'm gonna do now is just melt the plastic just over here and over here so this sits in ok 
Okay, I think that that looks pretty good. What I'm gonna do now is get some hot glue, put under here, and then sit this down there. So I plugged it in and checked it and it didn't work. Then I used my multimeter to check the lightning cable and pin 5 gives out 5 volts. These positives only give out 2.65. This is the one that gives the 5 volts. So I should have connected this to the positive and ground to the negative rather than connecting these ones together. Let's see if I can fix it now. Okay, so the lightning port is a dead end. I've been doing a lot of research and it all says that it's complicated. Apple has made the lightning port complicated. It's not as simple as connecting the positive to the positive wire and negative to the negative wire. So I went down back again to the e-waste bin and I found this router and the charging uh, adapter. So I'm going to use this port. I have the cable as well. And the end of this cable, I'm going to use a USB from this. This lightning cable doesn't work anymore. So I'm going to use this end of the USB and connect it to here. Now I have to take this out. Okay, so to fit this, I think I had it cut off that plastic piece at the back. I think I had to melt some plastic off here as well. Okay, so that's done. Now I'm gonna solder these wires here. Okay, so this outside pin is the plus and the middle one is the minus. Okay, so I cut the USB part of the USB cable and the charger out. So we are going to move this away and use these two ends. So I checked with my multimeter. The red is the plus and the black is the minus. And the green and the white are the data lines and we don't need them. And over here, this is the minus and this is the plus. So let's solder them together. Let's not forget the heat shrink. 